What's up, everybody? It's Coach Johnson from Air Tathros Nation, and it, of course, was the greatest series of all time that included the world record by the greatest shot putter ever. Ryan Krauser obviously threw 2337 at the US Olympic trials. You know, it was a dominant performance. He opened up big and you know, when he threw 2292 in the first throw of qualifying in the morning, you had to really wonder is this guy going to break the world record in the final? And of course he did. Um, so let's do this. We're going to take a look. There's so many exciting things. I'm a I'm a super fan of throwing. Of course, you guys would know this. Um, so it's just like everybody loves this, right? This is what's not to love. This is the greatest throw in 31 years. And funny enough, um, you know, on a side note, the Randy Barnes uh, world record throw back in 1990 at Drake Stadium, UCLA, 23-10. So that was 75-10. And see this guy right here. That is yours truly. So I was really excited a few weeks back or last month at the Tucson uh, meet when uh, Ryan threw 2301. So I had been able to witness the world record in 1990 live and I was really thought I saw the world record again. I probably may have been the only person at that meet. There might be one other person that could have seen it both. Now, I of course wasn't there to see the world record, but I've seen two 23 meter throws, which is pretty amazing. So let's get back to looking at Ryan, okay? So there's just so many great things about this event, but let's take a quick look at what a world record throw looks like. Let's look at some of the key things. Now, of course, we just can't help it. We look at everything in terms of six pillars. So we look at the setup and this is one of the things like if you're ever to camp of ours or you you attend anything or you're subscribed to our program you will uh know that we always talk about the setup of the throw and some of the things that we kind of teach we kind of model after even ryan krauser because it's so consistent right he is the guy who has had more 22 meter throws than literally i believe joe kovacs tom walsh and like reese hoffa and Adam Nelson combined, like it's absolute insane. So the fact that he hadn't had the world record up to this point, he was the greatest thrower ever. I mean, hands down, but this just clearly cements it like more, more 22 meter throws than anybody in history, more throws, you know, the world record, he is absolutely unequivocally the greatest ever. So what makes him so great? And again, kind of looking at it, we'll look at it in terms of six pillars he sets up his throw he's so consistent you know you look at the throw and you can see there's been some slight little adjustments right and i think that just you know says volumes about throwing here's the greatest thrower ever and he's just constantly working at his craft i think that's the thing you have to understand you have to put in the right work and you have to put it in all the time so let's like let's just do this first we'll play it okay so he comes around boom so it was everybody knows it you know it's amazing it's the coolest thing ever right i mean you can't help it uh you see this when he just lets it go i love the recovery right one of the things we always teach to don't look at the throw until you're recovered he's got control at this point he comes around he knows he's got it and you know that's exciting he just he knows it's big it's the best throw he's ever hit and um he blasts it so let's look at it in terms of what makes him so good what makes him the greatest and this would kind of just be you know looking at it technically so as we kind of back this up so we talk about the setup we want to set up separation and we want to set up stretch reflex and we want to set the orbit and the radius right rotational throw we want to look at how level you know those shoulders are going to be how level those hips are going to be and so when you watch ryan right he really gets out around this this is what we call pillar two so the first thing he did is he sets up. It seems simple, but it's the same throw over and over and over. You look at it throws all throughout the season this year, last year, the year before. There's such very, like barely any differences between two. And you see how he's just gotten more and more consistent and thrown further and further and further. This here, can we call pillar two. We call that setting up maximum power, getting around this axis, right? Getting this sweep leg around. Here's, you know, his left hips here. The arm path here is long. And that's going to be the key because we see how he really comes out 
and so everything's super wide you see how that hip seems to be leading well what's going on is he's moving the lower body ahead of the upper body so you can see that and that's what gives you this hip lean you can't have this upper body leading ahead and have the hip lead like this so that's taking a 300 and what 30 pound guy who's six seven gravity is pulling him into the throat he knows how to utilize gravity in his own speed so he's going to set up and this is what we call pillar three the big wide sweep we're dropping into the throat and we're applying speed and look at how he does that so when you see that he hits and just look at that sprint i mean this is a big dude this is a seven foot circle and you know he's going to cover just a little over three and a half feet so he's sprinting and then he hits this left arm hits and it hits right here at three o'clock you see how he's off now watch his right side just smash in and he just boom the upper body right the upper body stops rotating well let me let me explain it this way it's not so much it decelerates and the lower body really moves ahead so you see how his foot is facing back here his shoulder and arm are this way right so he's creating wham he's just creating this monster amount of tension and this is one of the things we've always trained right so you create this nice stretch on that on that rewrap and that's going to create this kind of stretch reflex into the throw and so he's going to react out of that incredibly well now look at how look at how rotated he is as his left foot's going to come down and touch this is what we call so again that was three this is pillar four right now he comes into what we call as pillar five we break the power position in two positions look because if he starts throwing here which is what a lot of young throwers do right they start they want to attack it and what he does is he gets that foot down and you see how everything goes here now now he begins right he gets that lower body finished and that's what we refer to as pillar six right so we've got to get the lower body moving all the way into the throw that hip ahead you see how his hip is just drive just smashes into the throw right you see it right here just look at his hip right here wham just boom and now he's got wham he just got that long pitch we always talk about kind of a comparison of like a heavyweight boxer an mma guy knockout punch you get that hip ahead boom and that's what lays out that big punch you got to deliver a knockout punch ryan krauser without a doubt delivers an, a massive knockout punch and look at that block this is the key thing so a lot of people will say throw on a bent knee but watch it it's going to come here the shot is about out of his hand there's his knees are bent right here look at his knee here it is straightening it's extension this is what's going to give the ball lift he's trying to maintain he comes through here right we talk about maintaining level shoulders right so because if you're turning like this it makes it really hard to rotate in if you're rotating flat you're going to come through so watch as ryan comes up boom he's completely squared up hips are into the throw and the legs are what's going to give the lift the block lifts the delivery sides rotating and you have more lift in the shot right heavy heavy implement sits on top of you so you're going to have more lift than you would like in the discus okay so then you see him just come through block arm just just mashed right boom block leg block arm that whole side stops the the hip is through and he just gets that massive punch and you see how the block arm this is really key that block arm stays there right he's coming all the way through and now it starts to move he's literally got it there and the other thing is the nice high follow through with the block leg right you see how that lifts up it's going small in the middle and then as you come through you have to lift that leg up nice and high that pulls you back into the circle this is decelerating him right the big long leg is slowing down that rotation it's pulling him back into the circle which you see he did very cleanly and boom that is a world record so let's play it again in full speed slow-mo and just because it's just awesome if you're like me you've watched this video a zillion times already it doesn't get old the guy is just it's an amazing time to be a shot put fan and again you know i, I made this video this is going to be about the world record and ryan krauser and you know huge congrats to of course ryan and his dad mitch and all the hard work he's put in this guy is just so exciting but let's not forget that fifth place was 71 8 21 84 it's unbelievable right i mean the the stats let's let's, let's take a peek real fast just going to pay homage uh 2184 2189 2192 i mean these guys are 
inches off of 72 feet. I mean, and then Kovacs 73.3. So we're gonna do another video and we're gonna talk about this as a whole, like how absolutely insane that and how it the depth of the US men's shot put is just off the charts. And like Joe Kovacs had an amazing series, three throws over 22 meters, not a throw under 70 feet, um, you know, just a hell of a day. And but Ryan had the greatest day ever and the world record. So so at any rate, let's take a look at Ryan and full speed again. Boom. So nice. So let's take a peek at it in slow mo. We'll look at it about half speed. So again, you're going to notice that setup. He creates nice separation. He's going to really create that nice long path into the throw. And then boom, just awesome. So when you're looking at it again, so what we do is how do you how do you get something like this? You work in pieces. You work in our pillars. We that's what we like to refer to it as. Again, we just try to put it so you can see it. Something that happens. We always talk about Ryan is a world class, you know, Olympic champion, world record holder. This throw from start from from the time he's here to the time it comes out of his hand, we're talking about what one point three five one point four seconds a brand new thrower that's never thrown that's say 10 years old or eight years old or 12 years old is probably taking two seconds so we're talking six seven tenths of a second between the world record holder and a brand new thrower what does that mean it means you have to you have to train your throw in parts you have to of course work on your full throw but you have to learn all these intricate details how ryan is moving his arm here moving his foot moving this foot that whole sequence of his hips moving together here right into what we call his pillar two learning how to set that up drop in this knee and hip keeping this nice and long seeing that counterbalance between the sweep leg and the balance arm wrapping it up so now as he sprints he accelerates he loads everything up and he just smashes those legs and can hit that big delivery so now you got the block the delivery leg the delivery arm massive sequence in events how do you learn this stuff it takes years brian krauser is 28 years old he'll celebrate his 29th birthday this coming december you know so it has taken this guy his entire career now mind you if you are just new to this and you don't know the Krausers are legendary right Ryan's dad was a 220 foot discus thrower you know competed with Mac Wilkins a legendary you know gold medalist like his uncles an amazing thrower you know cousins like the the Krauser family are just incredible track lineage and um, so it's really cool too that he, he's from Oregon he comes back he's competed at this place since he was a kid and now here's the new stadium and all the excitement. It's just it's just awesome. So at any rate, just keep in mind, right? That's the thing we wanted to do is kind of take a look. And how do you take something that's so sophisticated, you know, so technically complex, happens so quickly? We break it into pillars. That's what we suggest. That's the whole mission behind Airtay Throws Nation. Bring more attention to the sport. You know, showcase this. This is just such an amazing thing to see. Um, you know, I saw this when I was 20 years old and now I'm 51. So it took 31 years, of course, and it's just been absolutely amazing. Watching this guy is just never gets old. He, he's just an amazing technician. It's just so consistent. And that's what I think makes everything super special. So congrats again to Ryan, um, all the fans out there. Of course, we all love this. And uh, wow, just can't say enough. This was fantastic. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll have some other stuff coming up, but we had to, of course, do something, celebrate, you know, one of the oldest records, a massive thing. He's been knocking on that door for so long. And uh, congratulations again to Ryan and his dad, Mitch. So if you guys like this video, be sure to comment anything you'd like to see, questions, comments below. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next video.